friends. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I get to talk to you again. Yay, we're here talking more about minimalist homeschooling and what that means and what that is. And as we're getting started here, there's a subscribe button down there. I really appreciate it. Again, it's a free way that you can just say thank you and support us and help us to keep these videos going. We appreciate it. Uh, also, as you're going along, any questions or comments you have, I really appreciate it. That's how we connect. Uh, and actually, as I start this video, I know a lot of our friends have been affected with their YouTube channels with the new COPPA rules as far as commenting and their comments have been disabled on their videos. I just want to let you guys know that we still support completely based off the comments on our videos. So if you comment on ours, we still go back and we share the love and then we'll let you know as a reply to your comment how we how we supported you back. So please, please keep doing that. And we're, we're right there with you. We're all in this together as the dust settles and as and all the YouTube changes come through. Uh, we're there. We're there together and we'll work through this. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, on that note, let's, let's get started. What I really want to talk to you today about, um, as far as homeschooling goes, is freedom and permission. And both of those are for yourself as parents. Parents, uh, the freedom to, to know that, that you can make the choices as to what minimalist homeschooling means to you. What is that? And it really is different for everyone. Uh, again, we talked about that in the previous video, how you know what, it, it can be totally different from one person to the next. And there will always be someone that you see as more minimalist than you. And there will always be people that you see that you're definitely more minimalist than. There is no right or wrong answer. So, so the two things, one is freedom, freedom to choose. I know that no matter where you live, there are certain laws and regulations as to where you are. Maybe you have complete freedom to do what you want and maybe you have uh, state or local government telling you what you have do and do not have to do. If you have that, that's your first place to start with freedom. Whatever rules are given, um, accept those and be okay with that. And it's just that many less decisions that you need to make, uh, especially if you're just starting out, find out what the regulations are where you live and be okay with that. Within that, once you know what your regulations are and, and what you do and do not have to do, then after that, there's the freedom to choose for yourself. Uh, you know what? Think back to when your kids were babies and you were deciding about, you know, cloth versus disposable diapers. Well, even if you choose cloth, then there's someone telling you, oh, you can't use that brand. Well, I use this brand. Oh, well, your cotton's not organic. Uh, you're going to find the exact same thing with homeschooling. If you choose to go with a co-op, then there's people that are going to tell you that, oh, that's too much of a commitment on you. And if you choose to choose certain curriculums, oh, you're forcing your kids to do too much or your kids aren't being challenged enough. And there's a lot of really opinionated people in the homeschool community. <laughs> there, there really are. Uh, so freedom. Be okay that you get to choose what's best for your kids and for your family and embrace that. And with that also is permission. Give yourself permission to do what you know is best. And if you find that reading certain, certain magazines makes you feel like you're not good enough or you're not doing enough or certain YouTubers or certain websites or even just other people that you talk to, maybe at your church or in your community, if they're making you feel inadequate, um, you might need to distance yourself even just for a little bit, even until you kind of get your feet on more solid ground, or maybe if it's you're new to homeschooling or if it's a rough year for you or a rough season, it's okay to let go of those. It's okay that you don't do boxes or that you don't do Charlotte Mason or that you don't join a co-op or that you don't do group gym lessons or soccer practice or, or anything else. There, there's so much grace in giving yourself permission to say no to those things. You really don't have to do them. Now, with that being said, you can. And if you see other minimalist homeschoolers that are saying, oh, we cut out all our extracurricular activities and we don't do any of that and, and I don't do, or, or they're, maybe they're unschoolers and we don't do any core curriculum at all. We just let the world teach our children. That's okay. They're allowed to do that and there's nothing wrong with that. And if that's your choices, there's nothing wrong with that. More power to you. Uh, but it's also okay if you don't. It's okay if you choose core curriculums or advanced curriculums. It's okay if you join co-ops or do swimming lessons or soccer practice or any of those things. Minimalist homeschooling is about, same as it is in the rest of our life, it's about eliminating the stuff that's dragging us down in order to make space for the stuff we really want to do. 
And now with that being said, in the next video, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of the new things that we've added this year. And partly is because we've eliminated a lot of other things in our life that we're taking the time that this is the first season in our life. We've had the freedom and the privilege to add these things into our life. It's, it's been a bit of a long time waiting to get here. So, so it's really exciting and it's really exciting. And hopefully that gives you some permission to do what's right for your family and to not have to maybe just to worry a little bit less about what everybody else is doing and focus on what's best for your family. I hope that helps. Thanks again for joining us. We really, again, appreciate the subscriptions and the comments, and we're so happy to be able to support you back, especially if you've been affected by the copper rules. We're right there. We're all in this together. So uh, have a great day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.